press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. No, but well, we're gonna have lunch after this. Yes, we're gonna be feeding everyone after this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so, guys, I had promised both of them that I'm gonna get them up close and personal with both of you and Amazing. get to uh, know for them to know the unknown facets about your personality. Mm -hmm. So, starting with you, Mr. Modi, what is really the logic or rather the secret behind the title of Mr. Mom? Well, I've got uh, two daughters and a wife. And a predominantly uh, gorgeous Alaba uh, team of women. But the t title behind Mr. Mom is that I try every product. You try every product? Lipsticks, nail polish, foundation, <laughs> mascara. And, um, you know, men are not that beautiful. So you've you got to try everything to prove that they're right. And you know what? You're actually right. Men are very curious about the makeup because when I was doing a makeup quiz, the men knew the answer, but they were thinking, should I raise my hand or not? So men are curious about makeup. And coming to this facet of your personality that you actually try the products. And guys, you have to follow him on Instagram. He's got the most colorful Instagram page with a lot of mask and lipstick. So when did this fetish really start? I guess when I was young, I was always wanted to try lipsticks on. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, kid, I'm kidding. I, that's <laughs> quite a I hobby. I think that's quite a cool thing to say, though. I mean, honestly. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there is a desire of a lot of men to actually, like, maybe try lipstick or try something. You see, being in the makeup industry, mm. everything's forgiven. Yes, right? that's true. Right? You have to try it out. You've got to try it out. Yeah. How can, you recommend, how can you recommend a product to a woman if you haven't tried it out yourself? Yeah. I agree. You know? I agree. Totally. So we've concluded that within every man resides a small woman. Then they're just not ready to accept it. That's <laughs> my absolute, super cool absolute, absolute, that. Absolutely. He's, he's, he's totally ready to accept that. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, why not? It's um, cool. Jacqueline, yes. coming to you. Um, I got to know this entire anecdote that uh, Mr. Modi has played a very instrumental role in influencing you mm -hmm. to join the Kalawa family. What's your thoughts on that? Uh, so, see, for me, before I come on to any brand, it's really, really imperative that um, I believe completely in the brand. I am a consumer myself, hmm. and I know the team. So, um, we decided to all meet because I am already a consumer of the brand uh, and a fan. I really, really respect and appreciate how far Color Bar has come uh, over a short span of time. Uh, so, the next step was to meet the team and meet Mr. Modi. And um, it was crazy. It was meant to be a quick 40 minute meeting and then, you know, just, you know, finalize things and see if we were moving forward. It turned out to be like a two hour meeting. Two hours? Yeah. <laughs> was he putting makeup two, on his two face? and a half something. But we went on to so, like, his vision and what he has in him um, for the future uh, uh, of makeup in India mm. and that to expanding internationally and so many things was exactly what, you know, it's exactly the same scale and, and, and you know, platform that I'm, I come back, uh, is my background. So, um, yeah, I couldn't believe that, you know, we connected mm. uh, so well and like immediately I was like, okay, let's, let's just do this. <laughs> let's shoot now. And um, that's how, yeah, we so I came it on was board. An instant connection, I guess, absolutely. that really led you yes, to Yes, absolutely. I want to go back to Paris now. <laughs> I think so. The next shoot. <laughs> next shoot coming like next month. <laughs> All right, and we also have some stills here yes, from the yeah. shoot. It was amazing. It was such a great experience. I mean, just working with um, a team from Paris and the entire, all of us being there, we got to do a little bit of sightseeing on shoot day. It was just, it was amazing just how everyone works. And also just seeing different, different techniques, seeing mm -hmm. different artists from around the world. Um, you know, so through Color Bar, I was able to really kind of see all that and experience all that. So what are your 
two most memorable experiences from that shoot because I heard that you smiled and you giggled a lot during <laughs> that shoot so I really want to know what led you to that experience uh, I mean so many things you know like there was um, I mean there they're so there was so cool to work with like after every shot or whatever when we were shooting this we did like I think five sequences of that mm. um, they would like applause like the reason my energy was so high was because they had such a great energy everyone was applauding mm. and having a great time and um, they were so easy to work with and then also their um, like their technique so we went into you know you'll see it along the course of time we've gone into very uh, different different um, techniques and different colors and different palettes and um, you know what they were doing was just amazing so experiencing that and seeing that as someone who loves makeup a lot myself mm -hmm. um, it was a, it was a great learning experience as I well see. Yeah, and you know the visuals really look up to its name, which is called "Glitter Me All" collection yes. because you're literally glittering in those visuals. Literally, in the end, she just blew glitter in my face, <laughs> <laughs> and I, I didn't even know if I could see anymore. But like, I was like, ah. <laughs> but yeah, it was cool. <laughs> literally, a lot of glitter.